folks, welcome back to Adventures of the Black Nerds, where consistency is everything. We don't stick to it, but we try to, and that's all that matters. We consistently try to be consistent. <laughs> where, try hard, extraordinary. Where colored people time is everything. And we live and die by that time frame. So that means we start when we start and we record when we record and we're live when we're live. Yes, that doesn't help with the algorithm, but that's why we bring cool people on like Mr. Doja Mm -hmm. in Dallas Man from Level One Gaming. Shout out. Now, I am Baron J67, one half of the Adventures of the Black Nerd. And I just got to apologize. Now, yeah, now we can actually point. I don't know where. Oh, this is Dallas. Look, (laughs) And that's Damn. Mr. Doja. Damn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, glad to be back, man. No. I appreciate y'all. It's uh, it's been a minute. I'll take majority of that. Um, uh, it's I had to take a break. I had to take a break, but I'm glad to be back. And we got a gang of shit to talk about. To be honest, I lo- I really wanted to touch on uh the games we've been playing, but uh, we'll get we'll get to that soon. <laughs> So first and foremost, um, I just want to say thank you guys for popping up and stopping in and saying what's up and everything. We got Tone Deaf. We got the Tone Deaf Network family in the building with Tone Deaf. With the, I'm just so happy that we met these guys, mm-hmm. and it, it's just it's been such a dope experience. And it, it's when everything opens back up, I got a lot of traveling to do. I got to make my way out to Texas. Mm-hmm. I got to make my way out to Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of people to go see once all this opens up, and hopefully I saved enough and got enough coins. Um, if not, I'm gonna break some vases in the you house. Should. And that's for Bitcoin my nerd doing crazy. Bitcoin going I was like, thirty G's, goddamn. Bitcoin going bananas out here in these streets. It- Bro, and you know what's crazy? Even if it tanks, like, let's say it drops like it did before. This ain't a financial channel. We are not professionals. Nope. But let's say it dropped down like it did last time, and it uh, drops like 15,000, and it goes back down to the, like, uh, but it would only drop down to, like, 16, 15,000, which is 5,000 more than what it dropped at last time. Yeah. And it, that's a new average. The new average would be 15,000. So, yeah, ride it out. Run it. I know I am. Man, but look. So yeah, me too. Ex- exactly. So you know what? Today we wanted to do something special since we haven't been back in a while, and this is the first of many podcast episodes this year. Um, we wanted to bring in some special guests, and I already introduced them. We have Dallas Man, the content director over at Level One Gaming, and then we have Mister Doja himself, rapper, content creator, podcaster, father of the decade. Mm-hmm. This guy, look at him. I seen, and then, his collection, and then his collection, and then his collection is starting to really stun on mine. I'm feeling inadequate. Man, uh, I'm seeing it. Look, how you look just prize possessions? Stuck. Old school Optimus at that. That's why Sir. that's Optimus Delta. That's not even Optimus Prime. Oh, <laughs> you hear the hate in his but voice, no, like real talk. Doja, you hear the hate in his yeah, voice, though, was, right? That was, yeah, that was, that was sour. <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad. It, I ain't, look, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna put this out there, and I feel so bad. I like stole some toys from my nephew, uh, for for Christmas. Oh god, he was my nephew. He wasn't gonna get the 50th anniversary Scooby Doo toy. Oh god, are you wow. serious? <laughs> yeah, I took it from him. Give him his first you know, collectible. Give him his first collectible. You, first collectible. you gotta chill out what you wait, say. Wait, wait, how many of those you, you got? Podcast. You gotta tell people we know you. Look, exactly, and that's, and that's <laughs> yeah, why I'm gonna hold it. Okay. That's what. Uh, oh, damn. How many? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. And I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you, you raggedy podcaster. How many of them do you have, though? It's a pile in the back. It's a pile. He didn't show you the good stuff. He didn't show you the good shit. It's a pile in the back. I got. Watch, just watch. Uh, oh, I quit. Hey. Yeah, I quit. How you gonna? T- how you gonna? Hey, take don't leave the house, bro. How you gonna tell me this? Now tell me this. Would y'all give that to y'all three year old anything? No. No, sir. No. Thank no. you. No. But I also just wouldn't tell them. Hey, 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 My kids don't even watch us. Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I said, name a character. He looked at me like I was crazy. He said, Hot Wheel. And I was like, exactly. Hot Wheel. 
<laughs> and hot wheels. <laughs> I believe you too. You did, you did a little man dirty, duck. Yeah, you did do it yeah. dirty though. But no, you know. I didn't. I hooked him up. I bought him so much stuff because I felt guilty, but I don't feel guilty now because I bought him so many Hot Wheels, so many hot tracks, and I got him die cast. Metal, oh, a whole bunch uh, of shit that's not truck. collectible. So I got him die that's not collectible <laughs> that he can destroy, and I wouldn't feel bad about him destroying. Yeah. I got he him the die cast metal. metal. Trucks that he can be out there lifting real rocks and stuff with. He all right. He you would hate to go with him and Scooby Doo missing the tail. I understand. Bro, I'd be hot. I'd be hot. I understand. I understand. Man, my spirit. But no, man. So, folks, <laughs> let me get one. <laughs> did everybody have a good? Oh, go ahead. No, did everybody have a good Christmas? Oh, yeah. I had my Christmas. I man, I was at work. I worked all Christmas. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Look, next, sad life. Next. <laughs> I was about to say, pull out the little, the little violin. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just worked, man. I, I went to work both days, and um, I tell, I did God overtime damn. on Christmas Day. But I'm, Jesus but Christ. I what, did what that is- voluntarily because because I still I'm still saving for the play- well. No, I got the money for the PlayStation Five. But I want to buy both. If I can buy both, I'm buying both. I'm not waiting. I'm you only can both. play one at a time, though. It don't so, matter. Hey, one can on sit. Hey, hold on to that. We're gonna we're we gonna talk about that immediately after we talk about Christmas and New Year mm. or Christmas. Okay. So, uh, Dallas, how was your Christmas, man? It was it was good. It was cool. Like I've been, um, I did some drinking. And that's significant because I've been super, super, super sober mm. uh, for a little mini now. I mean, Wait. like, I, I, <laughs> I talk about this. I've been talking about this off and on for, like, the past month. But, like, um, I quit cigarettes completely. Like, quit nicotine, cold turkey. Like, Man, I, I ran out one day and just decided not to go and, and re-up. And that was just it. And so, those ain't bad, though. And so, what I ended I up doing... Again, so. Man. I actually tried for the first time on Christmas. Um, mm, yeah. I went, don't inhale. went to a good little cigar bar, picked out something nice and, and mild for a beginner, something for me to cut my teeth on. Mm-hmm. Um, it was pink. You know, it's a celebration. It was, a celebration. <laughs> it was pink, tasted like bubble gum. Um, <laughs> like, man, by the end of it, I looked like Kirby and Kid Boo had a kid, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but for I don't real, think that was tobacco. For real, for real, I was. I mean, I was in Colorado, so. <laughs> so that being said, like, yeah, I've been. I, I was super sober, and I got a chance to to dabble a little bit more. So I, I drank a bottle alone, not like alone, alone, as in alone, as in I was the only one drinking. Still. It's all good. Nah, it's it's all, all good, right. bro. We I'm y'all know I'll be on my stand boy shit. So if I had a, a a reason to be all emo on the podcast, I would, but it was actually. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, oh, you, you bring up you bring up drinking. I don't really drink like that, but I had some that Ace of Spades before. Now I ain't, I'm not no enthusiast at, at all or anything, but that was the smoothest. I had that, and I had a shot of uh, 1942. I don't know where I can't afford none of this. I can't afford none of this. <laughs> but when I tell you, I was I was captivated by it. I was sitting in the room like I think I need. I think I need. So I was looking at the wifey contemplate. We looking at our bank accounts. Hey, well, let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I might need that in my life. I know. Some yeah, aces, man. But it, it, it just you you Ooh. you talking about that brought that up because um, we were celeb- my my sisters just moved. Um, into their their new home, and that's what they they had it, and it was like, all right, yeah, let's let's drink. And when I tell you, I took a shot of that 1942, and I was like, this is what they've been talking about. I'm late. <laughs> I need- but see, the expensive alcohol is smooth, and it don't tear you all up. The hangover man. is null and void. Yeah, that cheap stuff is what be messing people up. Man, oh yeah, so don't bring no plastic bottles in the house now. Yeah, bro, it's the rock black. Bro, we we I'm tried to dissect the the bottle of Ace of Spades. It was like, this is ain't real gold. We 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 try to peel it off. You you can't peel it. I'm like, this is real. That's legit, man. But man, 
I, and I've always believed if you're gonna hurt yourself, do it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like quality. Stupid. Like, like, I, like my wife like, always like, say, eat, spend cheap, spend twice. Man, so you ain't never lied. Yeah. Now, Mr. Doja, kiddo, how was your Christmas, man? <laughs> man, my Christmas was great. Um, my older girls came over the day before and spent Christmas Eve with us and you know, exchange gifts with the kids and whatnot. Uh Christmas Day was cool. Um, my four year old actually Open her own gifts and was excited about Christmas and stuff. So that was a beautiful time. Mm-hmm. Little man got what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? The wife got what she wanted. It was cool. It was cool. There Good go. food. Yeah. Ended up in a stupor. So, you know. That's what I'm talking about. See, and you know what, dude? That's what it's all about. I'm similar both for me. Both my kids uh, actually, like, they actually enjoyed opening their gifts. Mm-hmm. And it was real dope to see. Uh, and then they got tablets. And now they instantly turned into teenagers. Like they've always had like leap pad. My little man. Oh my god. Yeah, they they had like little leap pad things. Yeah. But now they got full fledged fire tablets and headphones. I got them little uh, e girl uh, oh, bunny ear okay. headphones. That's what's up. And and what now they into? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like bro, they're done. Like my and then my oldest had individuals. We just took them out. So she already looked 12. Mm-hmm. Like, and it was just, she was just go, gone, bro. Yeah. Gone. The, I, mean, I was like, wow. Man, they, the, the tablet thing is a savior because, uh, you know, both my kids have them. And uh, they, my, I had to upgrade my daughter's tablet. She was like, oh, it don't have a front camera. I can't talk to my, my friends because she's, oh. she's talking to her, her cousins and stuff because of the whole, you know, uh-huh. quarantine. We yeah. download a duo for them. And oh, I can't talk to my friends. I I need a front facing camera. So the tablet that I usually keep, I had to go and give her that. So she had a tablet with data and all of this stuff, and uh, she controlled her brother's internet usage. So when <laughs> so, so I gave this little girl all the power in the world, and um, it was just it was cool to see it because she would just go sit down and she started playing Robo Blocks. I got her Minecraft, all of these little creative oh, yeah. games too. So the tablet man, thing man. is, man, and she love it. She, hey, she getting good at Dragon Ball Z. She was in there playing it today. So, but nice. I see her now. Her brother, she'd be like, let me get that candy. No, bro. No data. <laughs> Why does Netflix no don't work? <laughs> Why does Disney Plus don't work? Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I, <laughs> And, and she gets old enough to call too. Miraculous. So when the internet go out, she called me and had me check the internet. Like it's crazy. Like dad, the the up and down is not good. Like yeah. don't we get a gig up, gig down? Bruh, like why is this only so cranking at a hundred? <laughs> she gonna, she gonna get she gonna get there. Like, all, but man. all of our kids are gonna get there soon. Like yeah. all of them and, will get to that yeah. point because when you think and, about and, like some of us built like. Some of us had to learn how to download games on PC, like learn mm-hmm. how to do all of this stuff, learn how to troubleshoot. Now it's all like super easy for them. But when it's something that it's it's uh, interfering with them playing, they're going to do the research. They're going to go look up stuff. They're going to learn how to figure it out, how to reset you know Bluetooth. Funny? You know what's funny? It's going to be our kids. Because uh, uh, Trav, how old are your kids? My daughter's six and my son is two. Perfect. B, I know how old your kids is. We ain't going to talk to Dallas. Um, but <laughs> so my 13 year old is the type of kid when the internet goes, Dad, the internet's not working. He flips out of stuff. Mm-hmm. My daughter, our kids, is going to be the ones to be like, Oh, well, hold on. Let me check and see what my GPU is right now. Or my, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be the ones troubleshooting stuff and figuring it out on their own and, you know, hitting up the customer service online and stuff on their little tablet. Yep. So they know this, this it's going to be them, bro. This is what scared me yeah. about my son. My son, because normally when like I'm fixing something, he want he all for some apparent reason my kids love helping but they never want to do their own stuff so they never want to clean their own room they don't want to yep. clean up after themselves but if wow. you're doing something they'll help you help you bring out the trash any of your chores they'll help you with so daddy can i help my Let's son <laughs> my son's at this point where like he's seen me use a screwdriver he's seen me use a crescent wrench all of this stuff he wants to use this stuff i called him in the room the other day with the screwdriver just poking it at the uh at the little <laughs> little cubicle thing he has in his room. He just poking it at it, trying to take trying to take it down because the cord behind it had unplugged. 
I was like, you're scaring mm. me, little boy. You're doing too much. See, you're doing way you're too... Instead of coming to get me, he's trying to fix it himself. But that just reminded me of me when I was a kid. When I, when we wanted to play a video game and the computer was the, the old computer with the dial-up <laughs> in the corner, the man. C- cable management was a mess, we had to figure it out. And we didn't have the internet back then. We had... You know what? That's where blowing cartridges came from. Mm-hmm. Trying to figure yes, out what's wrong with something. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that Bro. was troubleshooting back in our day. Bro. Bro, who came up with the idea that using a Q-tip with alcohol on was going to make your Nintendo cartridge work? Bro. Oh, no. Yep. Bro, you it was me? like, you had hey, to be just trial and error. It was trial and error. Every Everybody mm-hmm. did all of that. Oh, yeah, don't touch the bottom of the disc. You holding the disc like yep. this. Yeah. You had to yep. wipe the disc you off. Can't yeah, so but the, but those are forms of troubleshooting. That's crazy, and it's it's so That's cool like because oh um it's so cool because like uh you know you we used to hear the thing the screen's gonna rot your brain, and then but then look at us in the last five years ninety percent of what we do is screen time. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Me at work, screen time. Um, even even when I go to places like Firestone or whatever to get my car worked on. Them dudes is looking at screens. screens. They're right, looking right. at screens when they evaluate. Everything is screen time. Mm-hmm. And now school. School at its core is screen, screen time. time. Yeah. So to like it's funny how the school of thoughts have changed. And for me, I don't um I don't like taking away the tablets from my daughter. What I'll do is I'll substitute. I'm like, hey, you've been playing that game for a minute. How about you go play one of your learning games? Mm-hmm. Go play your word game, your math game, play that for a little bit, and I'll set a timer. Yeah. Play that until this is over, and then you go back to doing what you want. And then if they don't want to, if they'll be like, oh, I don't want, I was like, well, then go play. Like, go do something else. Like, you you, you heard the rules, you heard the stipulations. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to, because this is the world we live in now. Hey, now, I, we got this in the chat. Do, um, Trav and B, did your, did your kids enjoy playing outside? My kids do yeah, they love do. playing outside. Now, my, again, my 13-year-old, he was like that. He got to a certain point. Everything is indoor. Everything is online. Everything is video games. And other. But my daughter is still, I love my tablet, but I like being on the swing outside. I like running around with the mm-hmm. dog outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, you know, I'm in the back cleaning up. She wants to be out there too, helping or whatever and stuff. It's like that generational thing. We were the kids that was outside all the time. Well, I was. I don't know. I'm older than y'all. But we was outside all the time. So, you know, then when video games came along, you had a time when you played your video games and the rest of the daytime when the sun was up, you'd be outside playing. Yeah. I think or you'd be over at your friend's house or whatever. I, I don't think no, I think we um as far as me and B, I think we did the whole outside thing. Like going outside was cool. It was it was it was great. I have more memories going outside than I have playing video games. But a lot of yeah. the, the the things came from and the because the way I grew up was different. Like we couldn't play video games during the weekday. So this is where sneaky Travis and 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 sneaky cousins come into play. You figured it out. You know, yeah. okay, gr- grandma going to the store. It takes 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes to do something. <laughs> we, Bro, we, got, we were so good at math as kids trying to figure out how much time we had to do stuff. Let's troubleshooting. Say, man, we we Trouble did. I remember, and I, I've said this on I've said this on here before, but my the first video game that I I dove super like head first in was uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two, and it was it was on the Sega Genesis three, the little mini one, and it didn't have a memory card. So we would we learned that game in and out all the way to get to the boss where we didn't die or anything, but we had to go to school. So we would sneak in my brother's room and play and we would leave the console on. The console would be on for days. <laughs> pause, just pause, <laughs> just sitting in the corner. Nobody touch this. Don't even move it. Don't move the cord. Don't unplug nothing. Just leave it alone. And that's how we played it, me and my cousin Oscar. And I, I we never... I've never beat it legitly like that. I've always, you know, I had it on uh, the PSP and I just, you know, glitched all the way to the end and beat the boss. And that's how I beat it. But it was those moments where it was like, yo, listen, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm granted, I played basketball, played football, did all that stuff, but I'm going to play Sonic and ain't, ain't nobody going to stop it. We used to sneak TVs. You know how hard it was to lift up them TVs back in the day? Come on, man. It was heavy. Even the little ones was heavy. Mm-hmm. 
like old school uh early t- uh, 90s late 90s early 2000s 24 inch tv was huge yeah bro. that thing was heavy bro big Remember, old two box man dude we had 13 inch tvs that weighed as much as the 50 inch flat screens of today i'm i'm not doing it and that you still might even be giving it too much credit cuz i think the 50 inch is still lighter <laughs> Them hey, look, they were anything smaller than 19 was in black and white. Dang, man. That time. You're, you are, you are yeah. young, sir. You're yeah. a young man. <laughs> you had some TVs that made a lot of sound when you changed channels, huh? Oh, oh no. yeah. click, click, <laughs> click. You can hear the spring. Boom, man. <laughs> Oh, that's where, 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 like, scales, um, if you hit channel three level. and you go past it, you got to go all the all way, way around. around. That's uh, turn it back and it. Yes, <laughs> there was no back, it's only forward exposed. <laughs> hey, on some real, look, on some real shit. We gonna, I, I, I do you want even better when cable first started popping off. Oh, it wasn't no panels, it was HBO. <laughs> See, I don't remember that. <laughs> And it only showed on Fridays and Saturdays. I've had channels Look, all my life. Yeah, yeah, only show but we had yeah, about uh, time. Zenith before it was an actual TV thing was an actual cable company, and then it was on TV was the OG cable company. Mm. Yeah, see, and you had a remote control with four buttons on it. You see, exactly. Listen. Hey, you know, down, down, volume, volume, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell <laughs> you the best. Hard. You had these repeats that it was, it was on, off, and then channel up and channel down. You okay. still, you can you still see I'm the chat, you. B? You can still see the chat, right? Yeah, I'm talking. Okay, I'm cool. Talking to him. All right, cool, cool. Just making sure. But Steph yeah, is so, in there. What up, Steph? Oh, fell. Hey, hey, fell. Um, yeah, I, I've always had channels my whole life. Um, I remember when channel three was the input. I remember when you could yep. switch. Mm-hmm. You could you could switch your inputs so like when you didn't want nobody this is going back to Sonic when you don't want nobody messing up your shit you would change the input to two and you can go back and forth so nobody could play your game unless or they or we would unplug the controller but sometimes that was sketchy too because you didn't want to move the console like you you didn't yep. want to move nothing mm-hmm. but yeah man those I mean it's all of this stuff just taught us taught how to troubleshoot I do I tap everything. If something ain't working, something getting tapped. <laughs> so, nice, yeah. what up, nice. Uh, but but folks, like like it's it's crazy how um, how much trouble I got out of with the return channel. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll <laughs> leave that there. But, uh, <laughs> PG thirteen. <but> <laughs> moving, <laughs> moving, <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> um, what? games because we're in january we're at the beginning of the month beginning of the year so first i'll we'll, we'll start small with this month is there any games coming out this month that you guys are looking for for me uh no uh all for uh, all this month and first quarter for me is backlog mm-hmm. i'm knocking through my backlog i just finished spider-man the 2018 i know t jones don't believe me um and then um i got 80 percent of the game complete and then I am working on Ghost of Tsushima right now. And next is going to be uh, between Final Fantasy VII and... I couldn't even um, ask you to send me pictures because you could easily Google that. I don't yeah, believe you. Google it because uh, this is what we do. We beat games. 2021 is the year of beating games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go go beat Warframe. Well, I agree <laughs> with you in that um, early 2021 for me is also going to be Backlog City. Mm-hmm. Um with the exception of any games that I play for review, because I'm making it a point to do more video game reviews this year. Um, I'm excited about Scott Pilgrim. I never got to play the Scott Pilgrim game. Oh, really? And it's dropping. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim. yeah man. Like, okay, so, like, I know I everybody here has seen the Scott Pilgrim movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. I, I've always felt that um, if my life was on screen, it would be presented in the same way as that, that movie. Like this, this is just how it worked. Like P bar and everything. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I just think Scott Pilgrim is a dope IP, and I didn't get a chance to play the game before it was Thanos out of the world. So I, I'm really like looking forward to playing that movie. 
Oh, yeah, man, I'm I interested. I don't have no backlog. I'm not. A, I I guess the only game I'm excited for is not in the month of January. It's just Outriders is supposed to be coming out, and it's supposed. But this is the mm. this is the game. Once again, these games scare me because they they I've say this and I, I'll continue to say this and hopefully if one of you developers is watching, stop doing this. Stop comparing your games to Destiny, Division, and all of these games. Stop going after their content creators. Please stop. Create the game. Be your own game. Create the game and let the game do the talking for itself. Because now they have it, Destiny players are ambassadors to this game. But they're Destiny channels. Their channels were built off of Destiny. So what is to stop this, this person from saying, all right, well, <clears throat> um, Destiny has a new DLC. I'm going to go play Destiny now. Now your game that it hasn't been out for more than a year is just dead. Same thing they did with Anthem. Same thing they did with yeah. uh, with the Division. The Division kind of kicked up after the end, uh, towards the end again, but it's you cannot do that. Just create a good game. That's it. Just create a great game. Same thing they were doing with with Godfall. Same. It's just stop doing that. You're going after a market that's already Destiny isn't going anywhere. The division isn't going He's, anywhere. But yeah, you, come not. on, you can't keep doing that. So I'm looking forward to Outriders. I just hope. I, I'm praying. I don't care what you got going on. Make a good game. Just make a good game, please. Because the one and I'm the, the and praying. Outriders does not turn out um, like Anthem. I have no. Faith. I'm gonna tell you what I think Outriders would be. I think Outriders will fall into the Rogue Company category where mm-hmm. it'll have a solid, a decent fan base, but it'll be quiet and nobody will really talk about it. Yeah. Um, I don't, which is so, not a bad thing. Let's let's be real. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's I'm saying. I I know I sound like it's a bad thing, mm-hmm. but that's not bad. If you can get that to a, a pace where you still exist in a world where Destiny and the Division still catch a lot of these people, so would you say that's like a Warframe though? No, yeah, because no, no. Warframe wins. Be, Warframe wins because it's free to play and people happily throw their money at it. And its yeah. fan base is probably bigger than a lot of these major AAA games that are out here winning. Mm. But we don't acknowledge it because it's not put in those categories and constantly compared head to head. So that, I, that's we, but, and that's we why have I chose, a plan. That's why I chose to say that. I chose yeah, to say that um, because I, I just, as long as you got your base, like you still, as long as you got your people that come and play your game for whatever reason, you mm-hmm. always have expansions to bring people on. Like you always have that as an opportunity to get new players whenever it comes around. But as long as you got your fan base and you still keeping your head above water and making a way when you can. Yeah. Like you good. Same thing with, I feel the same way about Monster Hunter, man. When that DLC yes. dropped, I was excited. And then now that they have that that little small DLC they added because the movie came out, every time I jump on it, I'm playing that and trying to play through that mm-hmm. because it's more difficult than a regular game. Same thing when they put, added the Witcher part to it. When they yeah. added, um, what was it? Um, Devil May Cry. I can't remember. Devil May Cry. There we go. Devil May Cry. When they added and, Street, and Street Fighter. Yeah, and Street Fighter. That made the game, it's like reinvented itself pretty much, adding those little specs. Because now the game, and they give you the basic of basic weapons to fight these monsters that you had no problem beating in the regular game. So now it's difficult because now they're giving you cheap ass weapons to fight them with, but you get to do it with these, you know, new characters. You know what I'm saying? And it made the game that it, it kind of put you back in the mind frame it was when the game first started. So it was cool. Hey, the the one thing I learned though and, with, when I took this hiatus is that a lot of people view games differently. You know, like when when I come on here and I know that I play this particular game more than I play any other game, right? But when I when I hear people talk about, like for example, when I hear people talk about the division, they talk about the division the same way I would talk about a Destiny. But the beauty of it is having that conversation and hearing the way they speak about it and understanding it, understanding their perspective of it without it being, oh well, you're you playing Destiny's trash, it's 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 this, or the division's trash, it's this. I'm calling it how I see it. When I when I played the division, the division was fun until a certain yep. point, right? Yep. There's flaws in and as we've learned, uh Cyberpunk 2077, there's flaws in any and every developer out there. There's just nothing you can do sure. about that. It's just how you bounce back from that. So when mm-hmm. the reason why I speak on Anthem the way I speak on it is they punished people 
may ban people for doing something that they put in their own game. Right. Whereas when you, and this is why when, whenever I'm talking about the, I always use uh, community, uh, community driven games because so most of the time, these community managers are on it and they're talking to their, their, their they're in their, this, their realm and they're talking to their people. They're letting them know, hey, we're going to look at it. If you're, if the developer of the game you're playing isn't active on their Twitter, isn't active in on their Reddit accounts and things like that, I don't know what to tell you. There's no saving your game. You know, if you made a mistake sure. or if there's money behind your game and you're not putting the time in to, to speak to the people that's playing your game and they're all you see is complaining, i.e. Call of Duty, you see that to this day, um, and, and there's just complaints behind your game and you're not saying anything, your game is going to die. The only reason why Call of Duty survives, they break a new one every year. They stop yep. doing that. They, they fail one year I'm doing a, that. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to say this. So... Um, so the games that I'm playing, I'm actually current playing, currently playing the Cold War campaign mm -hmm. on Call of Duty. Um, I'm playing Destiny. Um, I tried to play some PC games, but I, the mouse and keyboard thing, even though I can use my controller, I feel if I'm gonna play on PC, I want to do it right. Yeah. But it's not my bag, so I'm sticking to console. <laughs> um, but you know, like you were saying about the Call of Duty thing, the reason why. It's not even the current Call of Duty or the state of where it is right now that has me constantly involved in playing their games. It's because of what I got from them in the past. The fact that they're remastering my favorite Call of Duty games is the reason why I continue to support Call of Duty. So, but that's the original they're... Modern Warfare that we did. Uh huh. Say that again. That's what they're gonna do. You know what you're I was saying that's yeah, what they're gonna that's do. That's cool with me as a fan. That's because fine. and. That's fine. And we and the, the the reason they have to do that is all right, for example, they 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 came out with Cold World, Cold War, and what did they do to 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 boost the 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 player engagement in that? They gave you raid. They gave you the map raid, one of the greatest maps ever in Call of Duty, arguably you can argue with anybody. They gave you raid. Only raid. They didn't yeah. give you standoff, they didn't give you and I ain't like I said, they they gave you Nuketown. I said, oh yeah, 24-7 Nuketown. It's like a fan favorite. They always do this every Call of Duty, but we're going to give you Raid on top go. of that. The game is still a game. The guns still shoot the same way. Yeah. You know, still bugs Actually, here, there. It, you know what I've noticed, though, as a fan of Call of Duty, as a franchise, mm -hmm. the Black Ops guns don't shoot as well as the Modern Warfare guns do. The gameplay is not the same. Because they're different. And, that's and why it's I'm not as many it. guns. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's why I think it was smart for them not to change Warzone into a Cold War, but yeah. just add the weapons and the skins over and leave that game as it is. Yeah. But the sad part about it, like what everybody who plays Cold, uh, not Cold War, uh, Warzone says, they take the two major guns from Cold War or the OP guns in Warzone, and everybody's using them, the DMR and the Mac Ten or the or the Meta guns right now. Yeah. Those and videos are funny as hell. For me not to be a person that plays on a consistent basis and jump in, I'm gonna get mopped up every time I step on a battlefield. Yeah. It's so fun. it's I, so funny. Stay away from Warzone, it's so funny. I'm getting focused on the multiplayer. It's so funny you bring that up you because know? I was just having this conversation with a cousin of mine about like um like whose fault is it? Like if you if I'm jumping into a game and I, I played the game when they first came out first week, I played it for a week and I stopped playing it, and I come back to a game. And I'm getting wrecked. And it's because. So that was. the. So I'm like. So my point behind that is like. Yo you can't blame people. For being in that realm. Like if I. If I put the time into a game. That you thought was good. But you left it. Or you didn't think was good. And then you coming back. And then your complaint is that. I'm not good. Because he's using the meta guns. And that's all yeah. he's using. No get good but man. That's, that's, that's not what <laughs> I'm saying. I, I, I tell myself. Son, he wants to jump into games like he just started playing um, um, Black Ops 3. Mm -hmm. And I hear him screaming and hollering, oh, they're doing this, they're doing how, how, how. I'm like, dude, you never played this game before. Yeah. These people have been playing this game since it came out and they're, they're just fans and they continue to play and this game. they're still playing it. And like I told him, exactly. Mm -hmm. And like I told him about, like, is he plays Fortnite? I told him about that. I said, dude, you don't play this game on a consistent basis. So, you got people that's been playing this game since the day it dropped. 
and have and never given it a break. January 3rd, 2021, they're still playing that game every single day, every time they get a chance. Mm-hmm. You play the game when you're allowed to play that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man. You're not going to beat them. You're, exactly. you're not going to outdo You got to keep in mind, like, people wait for people like you to come on this game. Oh, like, oh during like, the holidays? Christmas news? It's oh, we KD, <laughs> Man. KD's is going up during the holidays. It is oh, a gift that you got Hold this gift. It's a fact that the players who play in tournaments and play wager games and stuff, because you know it's 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 skill based, especially yes. on Warzone. So if you got a low KD, you play with low KD players. Mm-hmm. So they'll purposely lose a whole bunch of games just called, to get in there with people like me. It's called reverse boosting. Yeah, yeah. they do yep. it all the time. It happens all the time. All so, the time. but yep. but the, the and you did you brought up a good point with the wager with the wager matches though they aren't skill based matchmaking because you're in a private party playing against somebody with a actual record on this website that you're using so if you're using game battles your record is going to be here and their record's going to be here and it's going to show all of that stuff whereas but if, I'm saying in order for them to practice they they drop their KD down to to practice on people like me oh yeah well and <laughs> then ahead, it, yeah. but once but once once again though if you if for example say i'm just this legit player right and i play consistently but i do reverse boost you're gonna see you're gonna be able to spot the difference between when i play against somebody that's not as good hey, because what up, if man? you're not if you're not as good and you're playing against me i'm gonna know the map like it's a lot of factors that go into it and i'm gonna let dallas get to his point because he was saying something but um, the map, map, uh, like your map awareness, the type of guns you're yeah. using, distance, all of that stuff plays a part into it. But that's what sets the bar higher for these different people. If you're exactly. consistently not good and you're consistently losing, you're gonna consistently be against look, play against people in your your category. Um, exactly. so but you have to play to get better. Of course. Skill-based matchmaking, that's a whole nother conversation. But uh Dallas actually was saying something. I-, I wanted to hear his point. Oh, it was it was really just saying something that we already we already knew, but you sort of covered it just now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um now move uh so Ant in the chat brought up a good point. He asked about what do we think about GTA role playing. Um I, I think it's cool. I love it. I, y'all look, I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah. My love and hate for Grand Theft Auto 5 is recorded heavily for the past seven plus years. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I I truly believe Rockstar's creativity, and I literally wrote a published article about this, mm-hmm. about how Rockstar's creativity died with GTA 5. Um, because, and I'll quickly make my point, Seven years before the release of GTA 5, they had over 13, 13 individual IPs across multiple platforms that range from sporting games to car games, Midnight Club, uh, table oh, really tennis, uh, fighters to beat em ups, like a wide range, RPGs. Really good games, too. Really good standalone games on their own feet games mm-hmm. manhunt oni uh the warriors grand theft auto san andreas bully. the one that people don't like but i loved grand theft auto 4 bully manhunt like too. you manhunt too like you had a whole universe of rock rocks rockstar games ran the gaming world in just about every aspect they, they had a competitive card game that I I used to play a lot of card games. I didn't realize how many I played, but Midnight Club, Need for Speed. Um, I used to play these games, mm-hmm. and Need for Speed. It used to be Need for Speed, Midnight Club, and Gran Turismo. Literally, that's how it ran. Mm-hmm. And Can we everybody, that every game you just uh, mentioned also had a super fire soundtrack. Soundtracks oh, of were amazing, and that was another thing. Rockstar was really good about their soundtracks. Yeah, we they had Big Boy. Um, uh, which which game was Big Boy on? Grand was Death it Grand Theft? Was it five? No, San Andreas. San Andreas. Do you see what I mean? Like, Andreas, dude, yeah. it, it's it's crazy. So, but to see Rockstar now, seven years forward, with more money, more prestige, and bigger studios, because I believe they picked up another studio along the way, mm-hmm. only made two games, and then they half-ass did uh, Red Dead Redemption Online, because we still, we still don't have. 
freaking uh, de- uh, Undead Nightmare 2. Still, it's almost going to be, it'll be three or four Halloweens about time we get to Halloween 2021, and we still don't have an Undead Nightmare 2. I don't know. No, we, but you we know what talk about how Sam Jackson, Jackson was in San Andreas. Samuel L. Jackson was like, like yeah. one of his best roles in anything was in San Andreas. Thank you, now, Ten Penny. Now, I'm glad you brought that up because you know that they remastered it for PS5. Yeah, they that's what I they said they were gonna do. They remastered San Andreas for PS5. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, but I they remastered it for three too. Or no, I don't think yeah, it was no, remastered. Let me, let me I think it just you. came out. Let me they just put you. it out. But I'm not. We have this conversation before. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, man. we've had it before. Yeah, no, we've had it before. I just wanted to put it out there clear as day for 2021 because once I think again, every year I'll have to make this point. Once again, <laughs> I just, I just think that we have, we've hit that mark. We've, we've hit that place in the gaming world where it won't change, right? When no. they've created this, the perfect this, game. They created Grand Theft Auto Online, and Grand Theft Auto Online gives. A player who loves Grand Theft Auto, everything they want in a Grand Theft Auto style game. They give you the online we aspect. Got so where, Grand Theft Auto yeah, Five now, bro. And and but once again, this goes back to my whole community manager thing. They're constantly that, upgrading you're right. this game. They're constantly giving yep. you new stuff. So when they're supposed to give you a Red Dead, Red Dead had a whole bunch of hype about how, uh, around it and could have had more, could have been more successful than it is today, but. Along with that, they're gonna upgrade. They're gonna give a, a update to Grand Theft Auto Online. How? You just gave me a brand new game, and then came up with a Red Dead Online. But it, it and and then they went through the whole legal process with the whole Red Dead thing. Then they also had a had a the problem with it with it dropping first day because it didn't come out when it was supposed to come out. They oh, didn't so. have ass Red Dead Online. We're oh, not they... gonna sit here and give them props for Red Dead Online uh, no. as if they didn't half ass it. And like yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I don't because I truly enjoyed Red Dead the first one. So I was so oh, yeah. hyped for this. I one. really look forward to all Red Dead. I didn't even I finish was... Red Dead, the second Red Dead. I didn't even finish it because I just it just me was, neither. It didn't me neither. it didn't do it. For me. Was wrong as hell, though. I can understand because they didn't was wrong. it didn't do it for me. So I said, that, that. I'm cool with it. But Grand Theft Auto Online. All I did was hunt. <laughs> I, I believe you when you say that. I do believe you. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I literally have a Grand video. Auto. I have a video of me carrying, because you know how you can only carry two giant pelts <laughs> oh, on your my horse? God. <laughs> yeah. I have a video of me killing three perfect buffaloes, and I put two of the big pelts on the horse's back, and I held one. And walked all the way from the train tracks, Buffalo area, to the home base, the first base. And I made a video of me walking, carrying the pelts so I could get all three pelts. You yeah. was about your money. They should have played the D'Angelo song during that walk. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, to, Bro, to answer your I'm point, though. You, so, yeah. To answer your point, Grand Theft Auto Online, or Red Dead Online was trash. I didn't enjoy it. Red Dead 2, I didn't enjoy it. But Grand Theft Auto Online, I don't play it, still has a market. People still play this game. People still enjoy this you game. Know what, I talked to my cousin. What I love about that. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm going to say what I love about Grand Theft Auto is that, like, I jump back in it every once in a while, Grand Theft Auto Online. Mm-hmm. I even re- started replaying the, the um, actual game game itself or whatever for, like, the fifth time. Because I found out it's, a, it's two other endings that I haven't done yet. Oh. So now I have to run through those and do them that I way. wish I was you. You know what I'm saying? I beat the game three times just to see them. <laughs> so I beat, a, I beat the game four times already. And it's four different endings that I've done. But it's two other ones I haven't done yet. Okay. So, yeah. So, you 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 in a great space. But some but yeah. where B is talking about, and you got to acknowledge it, and we've, we've always had this conversation. But... For them to to just have made this game in the time, this is the only game. This game has been consistently good, but it's the only game that they've worked on for the life yeah. of PlayStation Four. Yeah, that's true. Yes, I'm not gonna give this them... game is on three generations of, of consoles. consoles. My so you... people, humanity, listen but... to me. Hear my plea. 
Three <laughs> generations. But once again, you can't Three. take it's not going to You stop. can't take away from the fact that it was. It's a good kill game. the beast. It, it's a good game. So what do you say? Do you say don't play warfare. this game? That's a good game. Now listen. He Dallas said something that I've been saying, and I've said it in the past, and people looked at me like I was crazy. Grand Theft Auto brought the world of PC MMOs into console gaming. Which yeah. and made it okay. Yeah, We've work. had this conversation. Because remember, hey. and remember, that was the big separation between that was always a huge separation because there was always MMOs on console. Let mm. me not disrespect the uh what was it? Not Star Ocean. What there was a couple of uh um, Mag. Mag was uh, fantasy, star. fantasy Star. Fantasy Yeah, star. there was there was a bunch of MMOs on console. Uh I'm not gonna disrespect it like that, but they were niche, niche games. They were games that one in like a thousand people play, mm-hmm. but, but you, know you what? I'm you've I'm made the most popular game out there. One of the still to this day, you can go on any sale, um, sales list, and it's top twenty at the lowest selling games to this day, third generation. And if they come out with, and if they release a physical, um, uh, PS five or Xbox Series X version, people are gonna buy it. Of course. Yeah. This it? game, this game has completely shifted and made itself the Warcraft of consoles. I'm cool with it. I Where, do have just, so and my, and 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 that's always when, been my point. When PS4 came out, how many of them bought their bundle? Bought what? What'd you say? Yeah, the you. GTA 5 bundle when PS4 first came out. I did. The bundle. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I sure did. did. Yeah. I yeah. had yep. once again. Yep. Once again, Grand Theft Auto has done three. something new, or, or or Rockstar has done something new. That first person, it was great. I still enjoyed the game. I played the whole thing in first person, right? I played the, like I said, Ooh, I played the story. It changes, it changes the whole experience, and, whole and that's all they needed. It's a whole different. Game. It's not like I didn't beat it already. I beat it again. <laughs> just kept playing it. And you know what? I just people don't respect that. That's a feat to actually put your entire game in first person. Mm. Um, I don't know if people understand what it really understand what it takes, but it's not that's just huge. Really yeah, that's huge. Mm-hmm. And Perfect for it to still up. work to a point to where you don't get disoriented. You don't I actually it was a you little more visceral. It was, the control still work. Yeah, My, it was more visceral. Yeah, it and, made it made the game more I feel like the rating the uh, the uh the ES, ESRB should have went up on it. Yeah. To adult. <laughs> Once it went first person, because it's it more made it a completely different person. experience. Yeah. Yeah. I think I the only complaint hey, I had though. from it was that I I wanted it the field of view to be <laughs> out a little bit more. Like I wanted to be able to see the guns yeah. a little bit more, and that was like right here. Yeah, but I still I still enjoyed it. I'm not going to even front. And ro- once again, Rockstar created this game. We all played it, and they just ran with it. They ran with it, and that's it. What else? What else can you say? You can't. I can't tell them that. So this is. I'll tell you this. Look, um, we have went on our our cynical gamer rant. I understand we're in the section of of gaming that we are in, mm-hmm. and so that's how we are. We kind of like to dissect stuff and pick apart all the business aspects of it, and we. But we were asked about the role play, and we touched on that very little. So I will say this. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I will yeah. say this. So I have not played a whole lot of GTA Online. I'm, I'm tempted to because of what I see people do in roleplay. Like, there's YouTube channels where there's a YouTube channel that I just happen to stumble upon because I be down the rabbit hole all the time. And dude was like, yeah, I'm just going to become a, a drug dealer in GTA Online and see what happens. I'm just going to start trapping. And like he, I followed this man's journey <laughs> from <laughs> from selling, from selling mix on the corner <laughs> on a bike <laughs> to the <laughs> Lambo and the yacht. Man, for real, I followed this man's journey from nothing to like to like getting jumped into a, a gang. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, son. This hey. guy really got to live his hood fantasies in GTA Online, bro. Now, hey, the, um, you know, you know what sold man, me on man. it. All right. No, role what? playing is on console. They do it on console too. Console. They do it on console. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's I, probably more fun on PC because of all the mods. But yeah, it's everywhere. Uh, some 
some of my coworkers, they actually set up a whole uh like police routes and they set up a whole uh schedule. And like if you got busted doing something, like you would have to or if you messed on your shift or you you pulled the trigger when you weren't supposed to, this, that, and the third, or you didn't pro- they would do proper call outs and you would be you would have to work certain beats. And um these were my coworkers, they set up a whole Discord for it, a whole mm-hmm. server. They had levels to it. Like it get it gets real. Mm-hmm. And that's why I respect it. But I just hate it. It's funny because as dope and revolutionary as it was, I just wish it wasn't the most polarizing gaming company out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish a smaller developer would have did that. Because when you have Rockstar do that, and you and you have Rockstar, one of the most creative companies out there, now dying and living on this one hill. Which they can because the money is printing itself. Mm-hmm. It's, they, they have no reason to make anything else. Yeah. There's no there's no benefit. There is no benefit for them to ever come up with another online game. Ever. And the proof is three goddamn generations. But and three. once again, once again, it is it's still captivating. They are. It's not like they're. It's not like they put the game out and never touched it again. Never said anything about it. They are yeah. consistently giving you new updates. They just came they up with an update. Consistently giving you new updates. They are consistently yeah, they giving you new things to do inside the game and new new anything, new cars, guns, whatever. They're consistently giving you stuff. And this goes back to my point before: <laughs> is that these people have created a community and they're giving their community what they want. That's why the game still live. Because if you if it was a smaller company to do it and the smaller company wasn't as, you know, hell bent on building up a community, then you wouldn't have this. This thing, this this whole realm wouldn't be what it is today. But they consistently I'm talking about we're gonna give you Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to be a big thing. But before oh, that, we're gonna give you this online update. It's going to give you some more jobs to do, more things to do in the game. I'm pretty sure more people bought that than they, or everybody that bought Red Dead bought that. I guarantee you. Everybody that bought Red Dead, or majority of the people who bought Red Dead bought that bought that update. And it was the but only the, thing they, they could about, do. This is the thing about Grand Theft Auto also, is their updates is not a cost, it's free. Yeah, and that's how they hook you. All but that DLC it, is free. But back to the okay. the role okay, play guys. thing, my I I still I enjoy it. I I love everything about it. I go back and I watch. I follow people. I on love YouTube watching it. Yeah, and it some yeah. of them should be entertaining. I, I, might be down to do a thing. I might be down to try that out at some point. Bro, I need I need a like, uh, bro. You, you got to give me my script. I need a script. <laughs> I mean, but I at the same time, it <laughs> it's a little close to life. Like a, a couple of us have actually like I don't know it's a little close to life. I, I, like my my philosophy, there's a reason I don't play sports games because my philosophy is I don't want to spend sixty now seventy dollars a pop to do something virtually that I can go outside and experience. Oh, okay. Like, I thought you was getting. I thought you was fair. going down a different path right there, <laughs> because oh no, <laughs> I'm about to say fair. oh listen wait hold on stop, but uh yeah no. no. Really, really. That's that's how it was for I me just, before I dove into video games the way I did. Like, and I played football. I'm not playing Madden. And when I yeah, you couldn't pay me to play Madden. And then when I started to play Madden, or I I've always played Madden consistently, but I didn't play it the way I used to play it. Like once I got out of high school, and I was okay at Madden. I you know I won money in Madden, but I wasn't going to. You, you, I couldn't go professional playing Madden. Let, let, let me say that. But yeah, nah, it's it's different. I thought you were gonna say like, Funny. oh yeah, I'm about to spend sixty dollars on the game, and then I'm gonna drop another nine hundred on the day on the VC to get my character to ninety nine. Oh nah, god, nah, I'm good on this. <laughs> hey, I'm no, good. let me. I, it's I, funny. I'm so against micro. I'm not gonna say I'm so against microtransactions. Mm-hmm. They are not the devil the way everybody makes it sound, but. Um, I'm not going in like that. Yeah. Especially for a game that I pay sixty dollars on, if I can get away with um unlocking everything in the game. And then we have been taught in twenty twenty one of the few bright shining spots in online gaming and multiplayer gaming. 
of that being Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Everything there is fully unlockable. Like for one, everything in the main game is fully unlockable. Before you do a mission, they show you, they tell you exactly what your reward is gonna be when you come out. Yep. Nine times out of 10, if you do a little more exploring, you'll get more than what they told you you was gonna get out of the mission. Mm -hmm. yep. um, secondly, when you hop into the multiplayer, they show you a good, well, if you look for it, they'll show you all the rewards that you can get, all the different tiers of rewards, and tell you exactly what you need to do to unlock that thing. There's nothing that you can obtain that you have to pay money for. Fact. There's not even an option to pay money for. Yeah. You have to do yeah. it. Yeah. And, and it's a, it's as somebody who's playing and getting ready to beat Ghost of Tsushima. I um, believe you. Because, uh, you know, 2021, 2021 is the year of beating games. Um, it, it's, um, it, it's dope, man. Look, I'm, I will sing Ghost of Tsushima's praises, and I'm gonna tell you, it really did deserve Game of the Year, um, and a lot of different avenues, um, for for sure, hundred percent. What, what game? What game of the year? It, 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 uh, the Last of Us Two at the Game Awards. Y'all know, y'all know. Yeah. Which I'm gonna tell you, they have very special things about it. Like, I, yeah, I'm oh yeah, gonna... I'm not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna diss the Last of Us Two. This. No, there's no Last of Us 2 bashing here. Mm -mm. Um, Gameplay wise, it was one yeah. of the best games I played. In the, very some of the most visceral combat. I mean, visceral. Like, did you beat that? Dogs. I, I was explaining. I was explaining. No, I got halfway through it and picked up. Um, <laughs> what did I pick up next? Oh, I was, uh, you know, I was buying games. You know, I wasn't. Right. I wasn't throwing shade or nothing. I was just, you know, being. Being two jokes, but no, he was legit you. asking. No, I go. I, I know. I know you long enough. <laughs> I know you was legit asking. Um. But um, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It it is. It is. I'm. It's definitely on part of my back. Like once again, all first quarter is backlog season. Mm -hmm. I, my streams are titled backlog diving. <laughs> Just to add some context, I won't be on you about beating this one like I was about Spider Man or Ghost of Tsushima. Got you. But it's still worth seeing through at some point. I still think The Last of Us Shit, one I, had. I had to best buy him a game for him to beat a game. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. And, and you, don't, you don't understand how hard it was for me because my problem is, and I put it on Twitter, I have a bad habit of getting sidetracked and enjoying the most random parts of video games, which is not a bad thing. It's it not is a bad, bad thing, thing when you're playing thing with the, the team. I, we playing we playing Warframe. Hey, B, come help. Nah, I'm going to just go over here and fish. I'm going to get this fish real quick. I'll be over <laughs> I, there when I'm done. <laughs> I, Doja I was, was there. Fishing for hours, I was like, bro. you I had an world game with this man. Bro. Like, I'm... <laughs> what did he say? Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 y'all fighting? Nah, man. I'm going to just be I, over here fishing. He did that with the monster hunter, too. Like, oh, y'all like, yeah. did. They get mad when we run back. and Retreat, retreat. We need help. Man, why y'all yeah, coming over here? He bring the enemies to me. <laughs> Why are you coming over here? <laughs> like, it's a y'all in the fight, not we. Ain't no we. <laughs> look, and it, it, that's all. Look, I'm playing this guy on my Switch, right? I'm running this guy on my Switch. And the problem with that game is there's like six games within the game. Mm -hmm. So there's the main story. Then you have uh, this thing called um, Item World, where you literally can jump into the world of whatever item you're trying to build up. And you can rank up that item by farming and fighting within that world. Then you get to capture people, and then you can either destroy them and take their their energy and mold it into one thing and boost up the power of one person. Then you can go recruit people. Then you can go to the senator world and you, bro. You I been not never hey, Yakuza game. You been and not that, never. <laughs> and that's why, I, bro. Look, I know that I've it's heard about all the mini games up. in Yakuza, and that's why I don't touch them because I know I will never finish it. I'll get, I'll be, I'll have a level one hundred bowling. Like I just know I, I'll do, I'll do stuff that I won't do in real life in a game. When I play hey. Red Dead Redemption Two, I hunted the entire hey, game. You heard what he said? I put the two buffaloes and then I carry the buffalo. I needed that. I hey. hunted and he, and he didn't use it. He didn't use it. I'm not gonna lie. That is role playing. That is role playing. No, so check this out. Look so, what I did in Cyberpunk, bro. All I do is bounty hunt. I literally go around looking for people with bounties on their head. I'm mad. Hold on, Chops. I'm like, oh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a four star. We on his head. Hey, I'm gonna say this about about, and then I'll leave Call of Duty alone. But in 
uh, Cold War, when you go into a place that has arcade games, you can play the OG Atari stand-up arcade games in the game. Mm. Mm, okay. Like all the games I loved as a kid, all those games, they have the physical games. You can put your character up there and you can physically play it with your controller. That shit yeah. is so dope. Mm. See, remember, remember old school Tekken used to be like that in between the loading screens. You remember that? Galaga. Yeah, you play Galaga. Yeah, you would play Galaga. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, Tekken, that was, was, an, man, Tekken was another dude, game, I, boy. Boy, we beat. We didn't have a memory card. Beat that game in the day. Get the little dinosaur. I think that was a Tekken three. Not mistaken. Uh, beat that. Beat it in the day. Beat all the characters. Go through. Beat. We used to call him Doodoo Brown. Hit, hit the the daddy. <laughs> beat, beat the game. Oh, in the oh day. god. That was another game too. But bro. Okay, so because we're hitting that marker, and um, I believe we, we're probably past the hour at this point. Oh yeah, you know, but, special um, episode, man, special episode, right? So, okay, what game are you most excited for coming up, and why? We'll we'll end it on this one. Mm. I'm uh, to I can't go. Y'all come back to me on this. There is one <laughs> that I'm really kind of looking. At. We There's are. a couple that I'm looking forward to, uh-huh. but you gonna have to come back to me on this. One, I think. Okay, I'll go. I'll go first. Yeah, you then. go first. Man. Um, for me, I am looking. I'm looking forward to Vampire: The Masquerade, which I think is gonna get delayed again. Um, and the reason I'm looking forward to it is because I, at the bare minimum, we kind of talked about it off stream earlier. Um, I think at the bare minimum, we're gonna get a cyberpunk style. Uh, world and combat and exploration and mission setup not necessarily storyline or mission like I care enough about the missions and the characters I just think setup and function but it's going to be with vampires and it's not going to feature like high tech stuff this is going to be more of a vampire world which I'm going to be honest with you that is enough for me to yeah bloodlines too Jason knows what's up um I'm really, I really think that game can do it. And it, as long as they don't overpromise, I think they should stay under the radar. I think when it gets close to release, they do not spend a bunch of money on ads. Because these days, when I see a game that comes from a developer that's a more niche developer or a more niche world, like for example, that I always bring up is Fallout 4. I knew, and T Jones can tell you, I knew Fallout 4 was going to be a struggle. Once they started putting commercials everywhere, when I started seeing, I mean, I'm talking during sport events, um, uh, YouTube, all over, all over the, the place, place, as if it was Madden. When I seen that, I was like, this game is not going to be the RPG Fallout that I'm used to because they're trying to sell it to everyone. You know, mm-hmm. th- did you see Divinity commercials everywhere? Did you see, uh, you didn't even see um, Baldur's Gate 3 commercials everywhere. You and did. that was, yes, and that led a whole console in the stadia. That led a whole pro- platform. That was the big selling point for that platform. Because remember, it was uh, it wasn't exclusive on there, but you got it for free, I believe. Um, when you, but that's a whole other issue. Yeah. So, but and guess what? The game, even though it's in beta, and people, there's only so much of the game you can play. People are absolutely loving it, and it gave you yeah. what, and they're pam. It paid for itself. So that's why as long as the vamp- Vampire the Masquerade stays away from the com- commercialization, I think they'll be great. And I think it'll give us the expectations. It won't catch this crazy hype train and it won't get ripped apart like Cyberpunk did. Bruh. And uh, I was that's just why about I'm excited to say that. for that. I was just about to say that because I think you, you're this, this space of video games we're in right now is hard for people to survive. And it's hard for developers to survive. Yes. And it's because you have games. It's because like you have games that um that are 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 niche games and they don't appeal to the masses. So you're not making the money that you wanna make. This is my speculation on it. Cause when you when I look at a game like Anthem you brought up uh, you brought up the fact that commercials everywhere. Anthem did everything. They flew people out to their studio. They had the world looking at their game, and it was trash, and it died, and that was it. And they tried to revive it, and it just didn't work. Uh, my my whole problem with that is that once I start seeing video games like that, 
unless I super follow it, because this is going to lead into the video game that I'm looking forward to. Once I, if, if, if I'm not super following it, once I start seeing you everywhere, I don't even care about it no more. I don't care. Yep. Um, and, and, and I'll just wait to see what the reviews look like. And if I do kingdom play hearts it, three mm-hmm. and a oh, lot of people, a lot of, people, a lot of these games have to do that because it, it, it's not, we, it's not, we care about our community in this. It's about, we need to make as much money now. Especially if we don't got no good microtransactions or nothing that's going Oof. to keep people coming back Start and back and back. Everybody. Mm-hmm. So one, or fan one, base. one quick point, kind of kind of going against what you just said, or at least maybe talking alongside of it, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna shut up. Um, I really believe people need to comprehend the scope of gaming nowadays, and the fact this is why the price hike for video games I'm still against. Even in 2021, with the new consoles being the current consoles, I'm totally against it for the for two simple facts. Games, more people are gaming. More people are gaming, which means bad games are now doing as well as good games used to do in the past. Mm-hmm. You got piss poor games that suck, that sell what used to be top selling numbers. Just on the sheer fact of how many people game now. Yeah. So that's one part. And then microtransactions exist. Mm-hmm. In yep. the world where these two things are real, a price hike in video... Honestly, I think games the price of video games should go down. And board, I think we should see more free-to-play games. That's... Right. And I, yeah. I think that's, that's the world we're... Prog- that's a yeah. Oh. But, 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 but hey, more, more look at Genshin, Genshin Impact, more, Fortnite. Exactly. There's more free to play games that did come up over uh, 2020 and uh, are coming in 2021 that I'm seeing AAA games being announced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That sounds They're weird. Getting, to look up. Dude, Genshin I, Impact listen, literally is crapping on Breath of the Wild in a lot of aspects. Of course. A lot, because a lot of people play it, but what did they do? And people don't care. They made twenty, was it twenty one something million dollars? And then what did they do to the people in Australia? Do you, you, we gonna raise the price? Y'all, y'all want these characters? Y'all want these boxes? Buy them. Yep. Y'all gonna yep. buy them? Yep. Oh, and people it. and people still bought them. So it's not oh, it, the, the bad part about it is that people are still people are still gonna throw their money at it. And once again, it's your money. It's your money. I'm just here to tell you. <laughs> That you know, at least read between the lines, see something, look, look for something, grasp yeah. onto something, and that that's actually a good point. You brought up that that Genshin Impact because I didn't know that game was what it was until I started seeing people that I it's played on Destiny mobile. With. It's everywhere. It's on mobile. Yeah, in so, the same. It appears there in the same form as it does on console. Mm-hmm. You that's see what I'm case. saying. And, that's but, scary. But it's and. That's, What's so captivating about these games is the fact that oh yeah I get a chance I get a chance I get a, it, it you, I'm playing for a chance gambling I'm not pl- I was just about to say that there you go so that's why people are playing it that's why you got all these kids dropping all this money on it that's why you got all these these content and the content creators this is a love and hate thing with them they that's where they they're you know they 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 give these people money to purchase these things. And sometimes I think it even go beyond that. I think they say, all right, listen, oh. you're going to hit this box and you're going to get this character, make a YouTube oh, yeah. video of it. You're going to hit this box, Paulus. Man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. wait so, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that was my point to that. So 2021, what game, Travis? My Since game you already, you already hot. is... Oh, yeah. uh, God of War, Ragnarok. I'm I'm waiting for Ooh. that. I'm waiting for that. God 2022. of War. 2022. 2022. Oh, you think it and is? It'll be on PC. You think so? Ooh. You think so? I think I think they gonna, not, I know I they think, announced it for the for 2021 PlayStation 5 2021. Um I it's either Horizon or them one of them is getting pushed back. I don't know. I'm just tossed. It's a toss. It's a toss. It could be, but I, I mean, don't think as, both are coming out this year. Based off of the information we got, I'm going for God of War. Because um, I thought God of War, uh, the fourth one, was really good. Um, I didn't really, it was kind of like a love-hate relationship. I kind of had to get into the whole, you know, uh, loot-chasing aspect of it. 
uh, I know God of War being the game of just, you, you know, it, you have a path, go down this path, but they spent so much time on the story aspect of it that you didn't care about the path, this one way path that you were going through with God of War four, you kind of had multiple ways you could go, but all of the fights like were, were absolutely great. Like even when you had to go kill the Valkyries, that was something you didn't have to do during the main storyline. So I'm hoping that they do the exact same thing they did for God of War um, for the fourth one with God of War Ragnarok and they continue it. They continue making a, a, a game based off the story off this super dope storyline that they have. And I think the, the son was a good aspect to him. He old, he needs some help and him getting like all of the, the assistance he can get, you can get and leveling him up and giving them different gear and different stuff kind of brought a different aspect to it, which I actually truly enjoy. So I'm looking forward to God of War Ragnarok. Shoot. Kiddo. Um, I'm looking forward to Gotham Knights. Oh, okay. Um, yes. And, and my thing is because, you know, some of the characters you only got to see in the fighter, DC fighter games. Mm-hmm. You didn't get to really see them. I mean, you got to see some of the other Batman um, uh, games, but this is actually putting a shadow or a spotlight on them and not on Batman. And I've always wanted to see how Gotham would be without Batman, and now I get a chance to do that. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. Gotham, that game is going to be dope. It's going to give everybody, the other characters, a chance to shine, and and you know and see what that. Because some people's favorite characters are you know those Red Hood, some of Red Hood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's I'm, in it I'm too. Really I believe. Forward to that game. Is it? It's like all the kids, it ain't it? Mm-hmm. It's like all like it should yeah, be like, all, 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 like yeah. all the kids. Yeah. It's the Bat Family, yeah. except the black, black people. Family. You got to pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleep. <laughs> but, all right. Moment of truth, Dallas. Um, So I, I actually got a couple. I'm going to make it quick, but uh, I already mentioned Scott Pilgrim earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually also really looking forward to a near record. Because uh, mm-hmm. Near Automata is actually super, super fire. And I appreciate Yoko Taro and his, his messed up head. He like a, um, like a Kojima's little brother in a way, in some way or another. Only More his, pervy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Kojima is, is pretty pervy if you pay attention. But yeah, he's, <laughs> he's just a little more, a little more goofy, a little more outwardly goofy, mm-hmm. but um, just as much of an auteur. And I feel like we need more of that. Um, focus on art and just being an artist in gaming. That's very, very important to me. So I really want to, um, especially since Near Automata was such a good game um, and the combat was so fire, Platinum Games, shout out to them. Um, they actually finished the game for once. But like, that's that's absolutely on my radar. Also, um, what's the name of this game? It's a the Monster Hunter game, Monster Hunter Rise. Um, that's on the Switch, uh, right? Yeah, because it looks like it plays exactly like Monster Hunter World, only instead of Palicos, like the cats, there's a dog that you can ride on. And I, I, I'm more of a dog person than a cat person, so that's right up my alley. And um, last, well, this, this is not last, but the other one, I don't know if it's coming out in 2021, um, Deathloop. Because A, mm, or Black know, people. There we go. Yeah. And it looks so good. Like, it looks. Doesn't it, doesn't it remind you of thirteen? A little bit, like uh, the art the style is... reminds me of thirteen, which is a dope game. If you got it, it hasn't aged very well, mm-hmm. but it was a dope game. But I'm gonna shut up. Keep on. Cell shaded art, like it goes further than a lot of different type styles of graphical styles. So I can give you that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it would also be the first time that I was actively excited for Arcane Studios game. Um, the whole. Dishonor series looks dope, and I've tried it, but I never beat one. Mm-hmm. Um, Prey was so so good to me. It was like it felt like playing. Um, it felt like what Metroid Prime should feel like, but I never finished it. And Deathloop feels like something that I might be intrigued enough to finish. And um, lastly, but not least, I know it's I know it's a whole list, but Horizon Forbidden West. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you, got, you got some good honorable mentions. Like man, that's that's the one that I was really I followed the um I followed production pretty close 
on Horizon Zero Dawn because I have a lot of respect for Guerrilla Games. Um, especially yeah. after they did what they did for Kojima Studios. I feel like that was a real move and there was nobody else really reaching out a helping hand like that and they got something out of it. And you see what they did with um, with the engine. You see what Kojima did with the engine. The one stipulation for them giving them that engine was whatever improvements you make, um, they need to be available to us. And with what they did with Death Stranding, um, it, that going into a Horizon game is certain to be fired. And that's actually another game on my list, Death Stranding. That's what I'm going to play after I beat uh, Ghost of Tsushima and finish up uh, The Last of Us 2. Mm. I'm moving on to Death Stranding. Then I'm going to go to Final Fantasy VII. But I, folks, I, I folks, know, I think oh, another one. Um, um, anybody got final work? Yeah, go ahead. Dallas, you're, you're a Resident Evil fan. What do you think about uh, um, 8, The Village, or Village? Village. It's intriguing. I don't. I didn't know when it was coming out, so I didn't mention it. And plus, I didn't want to make my list too long. Mm-hmm. But it is one of my most anticipated games. Oh, it so is. Far. Okay. I'm a huge uh, yeah. Resident Evil fan. Um, uh, I got all of like the, the the remasters on the PlayStation Three, but Five was the one that I put. I platinum Five. Just put it like that. This I platinum oh, all the multiplayer yeah. crap, all the, all the extra stuff to it. But I um. I did enjoy that. So uh, I have not seen anything on there other than like the trailer that was released with the uh, the PlayStation um, reveal, or whatever. But I haven't seen anything on it. I haven't followed anything. I don't know nothing about the storyline or anything. So uh, I just seen Chris Redfield. That was it. It looked like they continue with seven. Like okay. they pick yep. it up a few years after seven. Okay. And so yep. yeah. But so folks. I- we're going to do a, oh my bad every anybody else my no, bad i didn't want to do a big straight, no. okay we're going to do a big send off let's start with Dallas man go ahead and put out all your content out there and where everybody can find you hey man like uh on social media Dallas man on everything d a l l a z man no space just that's it um and i'm almost never on facebook but you'll catch me on twitter at all times pretty much um instagram too and if you want to catch that content is i'm at level level one gaming i'm content director at level one gaming lv1 gaming.com you want to pull up there to see all the nonsense and tomfoolery um and if you follow as a matter of fact pull up to that youtube channel to lv1 gaming 20 um you can catch the double xp podcast every wednesday at 7 p.m central you can catch the take two podcast the very next day on thursday and uh the peak game podcast every friday whenever we feel like it with me and this homeboy right here mary j67 um and other than that like i drop all types of stupid random crazy content so um sometimes i might be spitting some i, I, I feel as if i have bars so sometimes i might be rapping sometimes i might be making beats sometimes i might be arguing with my the funko pop figures in my room yes that's exactly what happened in my last video. <laughs> Facts. It it definitely worked. Yes, yeah, sir. You're going to hear me. And Mr. Doja. Um, I'm on everything Facebook, um, YouTube channel, Instagram. I'm mainly on Instagram and Twitter um, at Mr. Doja. Um, check out MrDoja.com, my new single, Stressing. <laughs> uh, just dropped. Um, Videos dropping soon. I just completed the video yesterday. So, um, you know, I got new music about to come out this year. 2020 has been a great year for me. Uh, 2021 is about to be amazing. You know, and then working with these fellas right here. Um, hopefully I can get into some of the shenanigans they get into. Hmm. And um, <laughs> We got you. You know, it's all you. love, man. I we appreciate you. you. Trav? Uh, man, you know, it's uh, same old, same old, XT Jones, um, pretty much anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, shut up, B. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Not I'm not really, on, I'm not on Facebook like that, but YouTube, Twitter, um, Instagram, XT Jones, uh, you'll, you'll find me on pretty much anything that you, you search that at, at. but uh, yeah, that's me. Guys, uh, I'm a writer over at Level 1 Gaming, and you can find me here at uh, Adventures of the Black Nerds. We are going to be here weekly. We're going to push for Sundays. Um, Sundays are Mondays, but most likely we'll do Sundays because it just seems to work better for all of us. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to be getting a lot more guests. Um, We're going to be getting... uh, We're going to be having a lot more talks. I want to get into um, 
some maybe some live streaming stuff. Yeah. We're we're really gonna expand and we're gonna cons- we're gonna be consistent. Not we're gonna try. We are gonna, we be, are consistent. gonna be consistent. And even if it means we're gonna be running solos where it's me or it's Trav or we even have a guest host. We're gonna make this happen, and we we really want to push this forward. Also, um, all of the the links, um, you know, you guys send me all your links to everything, and they will be in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. And folks, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us across the board. Follow everybody here. Um, me, Baron J six seven. You can find me everywhere. I want you to find me, Baron J six seven. Um, and we, it's going to be a very active year. We're going to be pushing a lot of things. We're, we're moving forward. It's progression and it's across the board. So much love. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys in the chat and watching on Facebook. And for those on YouTube, make sure to hit that su- subscribe button and comment, talk to us, engage. We do talk back, mm-hmm. um, in the most respectful, disrespectful ways possible. Um, but, uh, much love and peace. Peace. Peace.